Retro Rob plays everything. Hey Rob here and welcome to GPD Win Live where every week I talk about another game for the GPD Win which is of course this little, ah, stuck, this little device right here. It's a handheld Windows 10 gaming device. It does have some limitations but it does have a built-in joystick. All games on here have to run smoothly on it and have to work with the joystick. Very well joystick. <laughs> you can tell I'm from the 80s. Uh, sorry, gamepad, the, the, yeah, twin sticks that are built into it. Anyway. Uh, those are the rules. This is this week's game, Full Mojo Rampage. It's by Over the Top Games. It is a roguelike or roguelite if you're kind of a dick. Uh, I'll discuss someday my opinions on that particular distinction uh, since I've been playing roguelikes since Rogue still was like in existence. Where you... I've been playing Rogue since you had to go somewhere to play Rogue because most people didn't have PCs in their homes. But anyway, I'm older than I look. And I don't look that young. Ah! <laughs> All right, sorry about that. <laughs> full, full Mojo Rampage, roguelike. Uh, uses the controller very well. I'm going to show you my options real quick. Sorry that I have to look up a little bit. I've got another monitor on top of here that, my hand, uh, that I play. I'm Luke Skywalker! Uh, <laughs> the, uh, Bleh. There, I got a screen up here uh, that I actually play on because the recording monitor is a little bit too slow to actually play a game on. So anyway, uh, there are the controls down at the bottom. Notice that I do have the settings on low, and that is important. The game still looks really good on low. It does look significantly different from like full-blown graphics, but it still is a really good-looking game. So you don't have to worry about it like looking scaled down. It does. It looks good, but. Uh, just note that it does look significantly different on low settings than it does on high, but it runs great and it does look great still, so no worries. All right, let's back out of this. Uh, note, oh, I'm sorry, one thing. Uh, you see down at the bottom, you'll see that there is like one or two depressed things. One is expand the map and the other one is check on your mojos, which, uh, I'm sorry, which, <laughs> oof, <laughs> expand map. And check. Yeah, I said it right. Expand map and check mojos. Ugh, I'm losing it. Anyway, on press. It was a rough night last night. And those presses, of course, uh, correspond to the uh, L3 and R3 keys on your GPD win. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Get back. There we go. All right. Let's start playing. You can choose. Oh, don't tell me. Th oh, yeah. No, this did sink. Okay. Good. Uh, there are several quests. As you can see, quite nice. Just going to hit next. All right. So, character menu. Here we go. Uh, down at the bottom is the appearance of my main character. You can change that around. I really like this guy. He's got that Rob Zombie look, doesn't he? Okay, next, you use the bumpers, bumpers, to change focus on various stats. Here we have pins, and these pins affect various stats as well. Extra damage, you can see extra attack rate, extra movement speed, uh, you get a bigger bag. I actually tend to use that one a lot, but I'm not using it right now. Uh, you collect these through gameplay. You'll pick them up on the maps as you're playing. They're very useful, so keep an eye on those. This is another thing you got to keep an eye on. Uh, these are your player cards. If you look, uh, each one has three different effects. They are vastly different from each other, so I, I choose one that gives me heals every once in a while because I tend to uh, get it a lot. Reminds me of high school. Ah. <laughs> That's just blessings. <laughs> Same type of thing. Uh, you gain extra damage, or you can see extra attack rate, blah, blah, blah. These are also unlocked during gameplay. We'll go extra damage. Now, let's go take a look at the top left. Right there is your cash. At the top left is your cash to spend. Uh, 
to the right, that can be used for top right, sorry, that can be used for character stats. It's that like uh, octagonal, octagonal coin right there. Oops, sorry about that. Flipped out there for a second. Bad. Anyway, uh, the bar with the seven next to it is experience. The heart is, of course, life. Uh, the little sword is attack damage, 7.2 there. With that, with that little guy running, that's my running speed. And 4.2 uh, with the little, <laughs> the little balls flying around. Yep, I said it, balls flying around. Uh, that one is the attack speed. Whew, a lot of stuff to keep track of, right? You can play online multiplayer. I believe you can play local multiplayer as well. Not that I've done either one on here. And we'll just play through one level real quick to give you an idea of how it plays, uh, unless I die right away. So right stick controls firing, left stick controls, of course, movement. That's pretty common. Right trigger fires your secondary weapon. That varies on character usage. Or not, well, not really character usage, but card usage. Come on. Collect coins, of course. You're going to want that for upgrades. Oops. All right, so to the right, which I've been totally ignoring, is your mission. Find the flowers spread around the level. So we'll be doing that in a minute. Uh, whenever you see one of these doors, make sure to hit it because there's often goodies in it for you. That leaves. Let's see. Ooh, an amulet. Sometimes it's a store where you can buy things. Sometimes it's um, <laughs> sometimes it's a uh, giveaway goodie like that. Oh, by the way, oh wait, might be better if I don't die. Come on, might be. Come on, keep it up. As you can see, there's a wide variety of monsters. See, that, and the graphics look really nice, don't they? You wouldn't know. I mean, it is a lot different looking game on high settings. But still, looks great here. All right, let's get back down to it. Um, obviously, in the bottom left, that's your current weapon. Uh, L2, right 2, those are your spells. Equipment are things that you equip that will modify your stats, and inventory obviously is uh, things you can use very often, uh, heals and such. Remember when I talked about what the button presses do and why they're not like hugely important? By button presses, I mean the ones under the uh, sticks. Uh, the right one, it does tell you what items do, so you're going to want to use it, but the position on the GPD win. Is fine for this you know you're not you don't need it like when you're in the heat of battle so it's not that big of a deal but anyway there it is usable item decreases your stats in order to get more damage I'm probably gonna drop this one uh, there's a lot of trade-off items like that I don't really like that trade-off so I'm not gonna take it Another cool thing is, uh, under the equipment, there's voodoo dolls scattered around, and I can't believe I don't have one yet. I haven't picked one up, but there are shrines where you can combine them as well and use the power of both of them. That way you can save your equipment slots. And here's our flower. At least one of them. Zoom. And sorry about that cutout. We get sent a message, it'll happen sometimes in gameplay. The 
and recording this particular game is kind of tricky as well. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of the opposite of most, most games. If you try to uh, run HDMI out of this uh, device when you reboot and play this particular game, it won't show up correctly. It'll just give you a black screen. So you got to connect it afterwards, which causes all sorts of other problems. But, you know, such is life. Here is uh, one of those voodoo dolls. And I can see what it does. So I'm going to look at info. And you can see speed plus 0.3. So it speeds me up a little bit. Another quest item. I've got two of four right now. Oh man, that was a mistake. I'm doing pretty good right now. Not um, not taking a lot of damage. Oh, there's another flower. Ah oh, shoot. That's chicken. And there's another goodie. All right, one left. Keep an eye out. There's lots of hidden things as well. Um, this particular level doesn't have the best example of it, but every once in a while, I'll look around and see something that looks out of place, like a little glowing, um, like a little glowing rock or something, and things are often hidden in them. Yep, here we go. Kind of stood out, and boom! See, got a freebie, and that is a heal, healing potion, not somebody's heal. Come on. Just went back to where I was. Die. Die. Die, 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 die. Didn't use my secondaries. That's a mistake, too. But last flower. Yay. Don't forget the chess. Collect your money. Boom. Okay, so my inventory is full. Well, let's see, what do I have here? Um, I can probably afford to get rid of this. There are also pickups during the game. Oh man. There are also pickups that will give me more um more slots, which are really, really stinking useful. Uh, let's take a look at this guy. What is this? <laughs> yes. That is uh oh is not good. Get out of here. This is not the exit. Here's an arrow. That's weird. Notice how the inventory doesn't stack. So I can't stack a bunch of these on top of each other. Makes me sad. Third time I've been in that spot, maybe the fourth. Keep going. Keep on running. All right, let's show you. This. Okay, man with exuberant clothes. Exuberant, huh? 
tells me that he feels generous and wishes to give me something. He shows me three boxes and says that one of them contains my gift. I will choose the red one, the green one, or although it's smaller, the blue one. Well, oops, rats. That's what I get. Cover bones from the skeletons, so I've got to kill skeletons. And then uh, this is another good example of the variety of level appearance that's in this game, too. Notice how it's a lot different from the last level. And that goes on throughout. I mean, there's a lot of cave-like levels, but there's quite a bit of variety here. Did he die? All right, I'm at three. Some missions are a little bit easier than others. Anything there? And looking for unusual stuff. And coins. I love coin noise. Boing. Ooh. You're gonna die for that. There you go. Oop, over here, new weapon. New weapons are temporary. Uh, they last obviously until the ammo runs out. Loot tassic. Okay, so here's a vendor. I can buy these different things. Unfortunately. Don't, well, let's take a look and see if there's anything I really don't like here. Okay, damage plus 22, I want to keep that. Ah, speed plus 03, huh? And that's the same. That one might be worth it, because it's got two effects. And little chance. Gotta be careful, you might accidentally purchase health plus 75, attack rate plus 3. So that one is the winner, and I am going to drop this one. See ya. Oh, actually, I think I can trade the old one in. That pit. Yep, there we go. Okay. So let's drop this guy for a second. Oh no, <laughs> it disappeared. Son of a bitch. Fine. Bummer. Okay, let's finish this up. We got three more bones to pick. Two more. One more. Give it to me. And quest completed. I can exit this level. It often pays to explore a little bit more. As you can get a lot of uh, a lot of different goodies. And remember, I think that has a permanent effect. Okay, so this one's not equipped, and I should, probably. Let's see what this one does. Health on kill plus five. Ah, no, I want that. Now, that's critical damage plus 25, so it increases the percent of you doing critical damage. So I've got to kind of trade that. I don't know. I'm going to let that go. Max health is increased when you kill for a leap. That's probably one to enable. Um, 
Eh, I'm going to feel bad about this, but hey. Oh, it goes in regular inventory. I'll drop this. This guy up. And let's go for it. This is another one of those items. Uh, there's items like this too that will expand your um, that will expand your inventory and equipment slots as well. They're similar to this. Uh, there are some that will give it to you instantly, but this uh, this one, if you meet a certain criteria, will give you uh, the bonus, and that's what this particular guy is. Kill four elites, and my max health will be increased. I want that so. There was an instant equipment bag. You see that? Look at that. A freebie. So it's worth it to look around in this game. Ooh. Well, he did a lot of damage there. And there's a pause. Sorry about that. Again, you know, life with uh, life with the recording equipment. I'm afraid. Down, down, down. Gonna make it. Gonna make it. And there we go. That's full Mojo Rampage. Fun game. I love the graphics. You couldn't hear the music here because I had it way turned down, but the musical score is really nice and it fits the game very well. Uh, you know, just love the gameplay. It's loot-tastic. I mean, there's just loot everywhere, and I like that kind of game. Pickups, just everything. Uh, controls really well. I have absolutely no complaints. Works really well on the GPD win. But even if you don't have a GPD win, uh, it looks fabulous if you play it on a high-end PC as well. So it's worth picking up for pretty much any Windows device you have. It's around $13, and at that price, you know, it was easy to recommend. I've paid so much more for stuff that's given me so much less joy. Thank you very much for watching GPD Win Live. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe for more. Got the pale face going. God, I cannot wait until spring. Life in Wisconsin is hard, people. You learn one thing from this show. Life in Wisconsin is hard. Turns you down. You pale. All right, see you next time. Bye. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos